the week before Thanksgiving, and every year, the week before Thanksgiving, we gear up for what we call Flakes Giving. We're going to step into the Cat Country studio and talk to Mark and Paul, the driving force behind Flakes Giving, give you a little background on what happens and why Flakes Giving started. Breakfast Flakes, um, I know you guys are really busy uh, hitting the phones, gearing up for Flakes Giving. Uh, we do this every year, the week before Thanksgiving, uh, we ask for donations. Uh, for those that might just be moving in the Billings area, maybe haven't heard about Flakes Giving, um, let's give them a little bit of, of history on Flakes Giving. First off, when did you guys start Flakes Giving? How many years ago and why did you start it? Uh, I think we probably started in 89 doing just turkeys and then the following year Paul suggested that we do a complete meal for a family and uh, it just progressed from there. Now it's 1,500 meals for families. Yeah, it's a pretty good way to meet chicks. You know, actually, we, oh yeah, we get a lot of volunteers that come from all different walks of life, schools, uh, different organizations, private business in town. They all come together to help us put the meals together now, which makes it easy. Make our deliveries. We do 400 of those every year, so it's a real community event. And lots of uh, sponsors, major sponsors, Albertsons. I know Chris White at Albertsons. He always uh, comes to the table with a, a lot of great things for us and helps us out, helps you guys out. You mentioned 1,500 families. Um, is there any sort of a restriction or requirement to be able to get one of these uh, food boxes on Saturday? Not really. Um, if you're going through tough times, you, you have no money left at the end of the month, and you're wondering about how you're going to pay for a big extravagant Thanksgiving meal, that's what it's for. Uh, it goes from year to year. Some people struggle one year, some year they don't. So that's what it's basically for. And with the shut-ins and so forth, with the deliveries, they seem to have problems every year. So that's why we do that. I know we had a conversation, uh, Hot Rod and I had a conversation, uh, that uh, there are a lot of people over the years that you see that were recipients at one time of picking up a food basket who now donate their time to deliver and put baskets together. They are now um, calling in and making those donations. And so this week is the full push, the big push to raise the money. You've got a food bill of how much and, and how, how do we get there? Uh, well, we get there $25 at a time or $5 at a time or whatever people are calling in. Each meal is $25 times 1,500 meals. Do the math, that's how much we need. Now, you mentioned Albertsons. They give us the food at their cost, which helps a lot. Meals are only $25. In addition, Albert, Albertsons Corporate gives us $5,000 in cash and uh, Franz Bakery here in town gives us 1,500 packets of rolls. So that's one of the reasons you can keep the cost so low. Okay, and if somebody wants to donate, they can call you guys at 2485-665. Uh, they can drop a check off here at the radio station. Who do they make the checks out to? Flakes Giving Fund, F-U-N-D. I know a lot of people assume that it's fun, F-U-N, because we are so much. You are, and it is fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's fun, F-U-N-D. We're a 501-3C organization, tax deductible. You should know this. How long you been here? Come on, Karen. I've been on the yeah. Why are you here? asking all these questions? You know yeah. the answers to these questions you're asking. It's for people who don't know. I you hate you're that. You're just coming into this. Well, what if, I, what if I were to hold your hands? Would you stutter, or can you need this to might. talk? And I will tell you this, you know, my kids and I, Tristan and Bailey and I, we deliver every year. We'll be there on Saturday Good. to deliver some meals out in the Heights. And uh, what happens after the 400 deliveries, after everybody that stands in line and gets their meals? What if there's meals left? Where do they go? Do you deliver them somewhere? Does somebody pick them up? No, we usually don't have meals left. And if we do, we help organizations, family service, uh, the hub, places like that. You know, they can always use the meals. Well, of course, uh, just from a personal perspective, and I'm sure a lot of listeners, uh, thank you guys for what you do with the driving force behind Flakes Giving. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, a lot of people wouldn't stay together for the holidays. So you know you. what Mark's favorite part of the turkey is, Karen? <laughs> 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 the I guess we, we probably shouldn't put that on, should we? I don't we? even know this one. <laughs> I was going to guess the breast. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's probably <laughs> it, uh, right in there. Thanks, guys. All okay. right.